Sleep disturbance is the most common um, side effect of menopause. I, I'm not looking forward to it, I'll tell you that. Um, and women who take hormone replacement therapy, sometimes it gets better, sometimes it doesn't. I will say that balancing blood sugar does help. Now, um, how do I know that? You know, um, women who are going through menopause naturally, uh, who these days less women take hormones because of the concerns of breast cancer with the Women's Health Initiative. Um, and I will tell women, I know you will get a hot flash if you have a bowl of pasta and a glass of wine. Essentially, a high carbohydrate diet with something to lower blood sugar, because the pasta is elevating sugar and then the wine is dropping it rapidly. And they'll say, oh yeah, you're right. I will have, if I eat, again, a high carbohydrate meal um, or more alcohol or I have a couple glasses, that will definitely trigger it. So when um, women will go ahead and they'll be more careful about avoiding the highs and lows with their, their their blood sugar and insulin, the sleep does improve somewhat. Um, I do use some melatonin in my practice. You know, I find that some people do well with that. Um, I may use a, an herbal supplement like 5-HTP, which is a serotonin uh, type medicine, and um, some people do well with that. But it, it's it's not great. Um, some people do take you know, prescription medicines like in order to get rest because there's a lot of evidence that not sleeping also wears down your immune system and things like that. Uh, but some people do well with the melatonin and balancing their diet. Magnesium at night can be helpful. You know, magnesium is a, a mineral that's often deficient. You know, sometimes we'll pick up people, that, especially people who've been very, very stressed, will have very low magnesium levels, and at night that can be calming. So sometimes a little supplemental magnesium helps.